With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone. A block is attached with an ideal spring and string and is in equilibrium as shown in the figure. The acceleration of the block just after breaking the string is A1. So you have to find out the acceleration. So if you see here, the tension on the two string will be same from the symmetry, right? Because if you see the horizontal component should be cancelling each other, right? If I draw a straight line like this, so you can see that both strings are making angle 53 and 53. So if I write down this is T1 and this is T2, so what you will write it is T1 cos 50 is equals to T2 cos 53. So from here, uh, from here you will get the T1 is equals to T2, right? And if you see the component in upward direction, it will be sin 53. So now we got the T1 is equals to T2. So I can write down T1 is equals to T2 is equals to T. So it will be 2T sin 53. Sin 53 is 4 by 5. So 4 by 5. So it is 8T by 5 in upward direction. So net force on the block is 0. So I will write down 8T by 5 is equals to mg. Alright. Now what will happen? When you will cut the string, right? instantaneously instantaneously the tension in this string will become zero but tension in this string will remain the same because the spring extension or compression can't be zero spontaneously right so what will happen it will be experiencing the t as you you can see you already got the t it is 5 mg by 8 so it will be experiencing 5 mg by 8 in this direction and mg in downward direction right now we want the acceleration of the block so i will write down earlier the t1 vector plus t2 vector plus w vector was was equals to zero because the system was in equilibrium now what happened here t2 became zero right so if I write down the magnitude of this T2 and if I relate this basically, so you, what you will get that T2 vector is T1 vector plus W vector. Now these two are only forces which are acting here, right? Uh, so what I will write down the acceleration is T1 vector plus W vector by mass, right? So, T1 plus W is having same magnitude as that of the T2. So, it is minus T2 by M. So, T1 and T2 are same. It is uh, 5 mg by 8. 5 mg by 8. So, put it here and I will write down uh, the magnitude only. The magnitude of the acceleration is T2 by M. It, it is 5 mg by 8 by M. So, it will be 5 g by 8 and this is the answer now you can check for the option so it is a thank you for class 6 to 12 itg and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today